Hello, my name is Phil. I'm the Chief Medical Officer for Leeds Teaching Hospitals and on behalf of the Trust I'm delighted to welcome you to come to work with us and particularly thank you as interim foundation doctors in these extraordinary times for coming to work with us uh, sooner than you'd perhaps planned. I want to tell you about the Leeds Way. These are the values that we live by in our organisation. Above all, we're patient-centred, but we're also fair. We look after each other and we treat each other fairly. We're collaborative. We work together for the benefit of each other and our patients. We're accountable. We make decisions and we hold ourselves to them. And we're empowered. All of our teams work together and can feel part of that. It's really important for you as junior doctors when you come to work with us that you feel those values in our organisation and you feel that you can live by them. We strongly believe it makes us a great place to work and it makes us look after our patients better to give them the best care we can. You'll be joining one of the biggest trusts in the country. We have 2,000 beds and work from seven hospital sites. We see over 1.5 million patients every year and over 200,000 people come to our emergency departments. It's really important in such a large organisation that you feel that you have a safe, supportive and enriching training environment. And that's why our values, as I talked about earlier, are so important to us. One of the most important things we like our doctors to be involved with is quality improvement. How do we make our services even better for our patients? We have a number of methods which we call the Leeds Improvement Method, which allow us to approach quality improvement using a structured and inclusive way that respects every member of the team involved. Some of our collaboratives have included looking at sepsis, looking at discharge of patients, uh, looking at reducing bloodstream infections, and we've had some real successes, including areas like patient falls, pressure ulcers, and cardiac arrest calls. It's a real opportunity for you here to be involved in these projects because we want to work hard with you to make your time here rewarding. One other area I want to emphasise is your opportunity to raise concerns. If you're concerned about an issue at work, it's important that you know you have the freedom to speak up. We have freedom to speak up guardians and a local lead that you can contact if you feel that you can't get the support and encouragement you need with the problem you're worried about. So what's important is that you introduce yourself to us. We are on social media. Uh, let the communications team know if you've got a story that you want to share. Hi, my name is Dipisha Dedra and I'm the Postgraduate Director for Dental and Medical Education here at Leeds Teaching Hospitals. I'd like to extend to you a warm welcome and to thank you for choosing to train and work here at Leeds. Our aim here at Medical Education is to provide assurance to yourselves, the trainees, the trust and to the deanery for the quality of the training that you receive whilst here at Leeds. Our aim is to make sure that you are happy and healthy here and working in a, a safe and supportive learning environment to ensure that you get the training outcomes you need to further your career and your development. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to some of the team, so let's go and meet some of them. So I'd like to introduce you to our General Manager, Stuart. Thanks, Dupesh. Hi, I'm Stu Haynes. I'm the General Manager for the Corporate Medical CSU, and we look after medical education here in LTHT. It's a big operation. We've got about 950 trainee doctors and 1,300 medical students, and we do a lot of stuff uh, with these guys. Let me introduce you to some of the team. This is our clinical skills and simulation team, and this is Rachel, who, along with Hilary, runs the thing. Just give us a rough idea. How many courses typically in a month do you do? Um, so average on a month, Stuart, we'll run between um, 30 and forward. 30 and 40 educational events um, either across the trust and um, we offer courses that are trust based regional and national um, HE courses well college surgeon courses and um, we also do a lot of in situation simulation courses classroom simulation courses and clinical skills courses so it's massive and we do those right across uh, the LTHT estate but mostly here in the clinical practice center most of you will be trainees on a postgraduate programme and you'll be part of a school. 
And so here in LTHT, we administer quite a bit of the programs uh, for the region and for the city. So some of you, for example, will be on a GP scheme, the GP specialty training scheme. This is Chris, and he looks after that and everything connected to it. How many trainees do you look after? Uh, roughly 130. 130, that's for the whole of the city. So that's for, for all of Leeds, yeah. Fantastic, great stuff. Uh, we've got Taha, who would sit here, and he looks after our Grand Rounds programme. About 200 or so uh, foundation doctors work here in Leeds, and these are people at the beginning of their training, and so the foundation school is managed through here. This is Debbie and Imogen. So Debbie, I said 200, is that about right? That's about right, yes, yeah. for F1s and F2s in Leeds. And you do a weekly teaching programme? We do for the FY ones, yeah, for Tuesday lunchtime. Fantastic. Managing such a big operation takes a lot of effort and we've got some really talented people working in the team. Uh, Fiona Spires, who's our one of our service managers, and Annette Clarkson over here, who, as well as managing all of our estates across LGI and St James's, also looks after the money. Throughout the year, you're going to be giving us some feedback. You're going to be fee feeding in through the National Training Survey and in other, other ways too. We look at every single piece of feedback that we get and we share it with our clinicians and do a lot with it. And this is Dave White, who's our quality manager. And Dave pulls all that data together and makes sure that it all fits into a, into a nice sort of package. And then Diane Fisher uh, will be our operations manager and pulls the whole operation uh, together seamlessly to make sure that medical education works perfectly well. There are 950 trainees here and we want each of you to have the best employment experience that you possibly can have. And so this is something that is quite unique to LTHT. We don't think this happens in many organisations throughout the country. We have a professional support team. So when trainees get into difficulty, our job is to help you get back into practice as safely and as smoothly as possible. And a fantastic team looking after that. We've got Louise and we've got Laura. And in addition to that, what they also do is they look after our Improving Working Lives agenda, which is all around um, making sure that trainees are properly engaged and have a great uh, time working in the trust. So as part of the Improving Working Lives agenda and the way that we engage with our trainee doctors, we also have a junior doctor body, which is uh, run by trainee doctors uh, with our chief registrar and our clinical leadership fellows. And this is Alice. Alice White, who in addition to a day job looking after the emergency medicine team, also looks after our junior doctor body. And you meet how often? Um, once a month, and usually we meet a Tuesday or a Wednesday, and it al alternates between each site at the LJ and Jimmy's, so everybody gets a chance to come to all the meetings. And it's great because we get trainees from all of our CSUs uh, participating in that. We've got facilities across the city, here at St James's, across at the LGI, or the Postgraduate Centre there, and we also have facilities out in some of the, our uh, periphery hospitals too. And the final thing to tell you about is our library, uh, which is a really good uh, service. We have libraries on each of our main sites. Uh, St James's, it's in the Clinical Practice Centre. At the LGI, which is our main library, it's in the old building. We've also got a facility at Wharfdale and in Bexley Wing. It's available through normal office hours, 8 till 4, but at the LGI site, uh, we have an out-of-hours facility, so you can use that through the night too. And the best thing about the library, it's a really friendly team, so uh, lots of space for you to go and um, do some personal study and reflection. Hi, and welcome to Leeds. My name's Chris Mannion. I'm one of your Foundation Training Programme Directors. So, what are we here for? We're here to look after you, to motivate you and challenge you through your education. Uh, we're here also to get you through your annual review of competence progression at the end of the year. If you have any problems, please don't hesitate to get in contact with me or one of my colleagues uh, who are here throughout the year. OK, look after yourselves and see you soon. Our aim in medical education is to assure the training that you receive for yourselves and for the deanery. In order to do that, we engage actively with yourselves and with your supervisors. Communication is key to that, so it's absolutely imperative that you access and maintain your NHS Mail account and check it regularly. In addition to email, we utilise a variety of technology mediums 
to supplement communications as well as your learning. The induction app, which is downloadable from the App Store as well as Android platform, is an excellent resource to provide you with a directory um, of useful numbers um, within the trust. We also use Pando in different departments as a means to provide a secure platform to facilitate handovers. And more recently, we have UpToDate as a resource which is accessible via the electronic patient record. In addition to technologies to enhance communication, we also use e-learning to supplement our mandatory training. Within Leeds, we have developed the Health Education Yorkshire and Humber Passport System, which accounts for 85% of your mandatory training. This is recognised training which is valid for 24 months and is recognised by different trusts within the region, thereby avoiding replication of mandatory training as you rotate between hospitals. Within medical education, we also support your employment issues that may arise. The 2016 Terms and Conditions includes provision of the Guardian of Safe Working, which is supported within medical education needs. We would actively encourage you to engage with the exceptional reporting process in order to ensure that we have an accurate understanding of how you're working, the hours that you're working and any missed education opportunities. These exception reports are reviewed daily and are actioned upon, so it's really important that you help us to get a good idea of what's going on on the wards. Your health and well-being is absolutely paramount to us, so it's really important that you engage with the people that are around you that are invested in yourselves, in your training and in your health. If you're new to Leeds, it's absolutely important that you register with a GP so that your health is looked after. If you need to talk to anyone, you have your peers, you have your supervisors, the deanery officials such as your training programme directors and of course our office in the postgraduate department. In, within that we support the professional support service um, led by Louise Buchanan which provides you with support for advice on health as well as employment issues and any support that you require whilst here in Leeds. Now whilst in Leeds you're going to be working incredibly hard and you'll be dealing with very sensitive information. Therefore it's incumbent upon you to maintain that confidentiality. Accessing staff, uh, patient records and um, images in the line of your work is important but please be mindful of who else is around you and maintain good information governance at all times. Equally, it's important to decompress, which is why we provide protected social areas for you, such as the doctor's mess and rest areas. But be careful if, when in public having a coffee of who's around you to ensure that you are not betraying anyone's confidence. So, what's next? Once this induction is completed, you will then go to your department where you will receive a local induction. In that, we would expect you to receive detailed information about your roles and responsibilities, your rotors, how to access the relevant systems in order to do your work, and also, in particular, the importance of handover, how that is done, and the details about that. Handover is incredibly important and is featured every year in the GMC National Training Survey. It shouldn't just be a bleep button, but there should be time allocated to ensure a robust handover and different departments utilise different mediums to deliver this, such as the electronic patient record and Pando apps, for example. So thank you for listening. This is the end of your induction now. We hope that you've enjoyed it and it's been informative. In due course, we will try and arrange social gatherings so that we can meet you in person. But we hope you enjoy your time here at Leeds. It's informative, that it facilitates your training and helps you get to where you want to be. Thank you very much.